Bonjour, bonjour, fragrance lovers, welcome back to my channel. Uh, in today's video is a special video as I'm doing uh, the top 10 uh, elegant and sophisticated scent for men with Wele Memucho. So this is in collaboration with Juan and I'm very happy uh, to do that together because it's fantastic. It's a great review ever since a long time and also uh, he's doing like a few different languages which which I'm doing as well, so I'm trying. <laughs> uh, so it's really like uh, impressive and I'm very happy. Hope you're gonna like the video, so let's go. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna talk and watch the video with you and comment on what he's saying and at the end I will add some of my choices as well to give you a good top 10. Let's go! Bonjour Clemence, hello everyone. This is Juan from Huelame Mucho. Uh, thank you very much for inviting me to your channel. I love your channel. I love your take on reviews. I, have, I think you have a great taste and you have a great approach on perfumes and I learn a lot from you. So thank you very much for inviting me here today. And today you told me that I had to choose my top five, six most elegant fragrances for men. So that is a poisoned candy because it's like, wow, I love this. And I have like 15 fragrances I would love to show on your channel. So the thing is that I'm going to show you six today, six, and I'm going to ex explain a little bit because I've chosen one per brand and just uh, one per kind of use or type of scent. So I hope that you like my choice. Number one is 1872 for man. This is incredible. One of the best citric fragrances that I know. It's creamy, it's um, citric, but citric is uh, for me, I mean, I receive a lot of comments saying that this does not smell like pineapple, but for me, it smells like pineapple. It was way before Aventus. It's not an Aventus clone. This is goes way before Aventus. So please try this one. This is just incredible. It's a fragrance that is fit for kings. If you want to be the most elegant citric fragrance you can ever find, this one is really incredible. It's a fragrance made for kings and it is just unbelievable. Look at the bottle. It's so beautiful. And it's just a great, great, great fragrance. It lasts forever. Wait, um, it has one thing. And it's that the moment you spray yourself with it, you're going to wait, you have a, like a mixed feelings. You're going to think, wow, Juan is saying something wrong, but wait for it. This is a half an hour wait and it will unfold, it will develop and it will conquer you. And this is going to be like the wow. You're going to get the wow factor here. This has a wow factor one of the best citric fragrances ever. Okay, so uh, I'm, I'm super happy to see Clive Christian here. I 100% agree with you, Ron. Uh, Clive Christian, first of all, is like a classic, I would say, uh, scent because, you know, like the Queen uses it and um, a lot of royals family do. And it's really a, like timeless scents, very classic with a touch of vintage as well, which I love. They do also have very modern scents and things like that. I tried this one and I really enjoy it too. Um, also, you got my attention in the fact that I always try it in store and I was like, oh, that's nice because I like a bit of vintage scent, a bit citrus, and I really think that it's perfect for gentlemen. And I I, I should have wear it more on the skin uh, because I think I'm missing something as well from this fragrance after you comment. But yeah, I 100% agree. Um, if I can add a fragrance to that, I will choose probably something in the same atmosphere like citrus stone. And for me, it's going to be something a, a bit uh, more delicate. And I love on men um, number 89 from Floris. Uh, it's a scent that will be more aromatic than 1872 definitely and um, I don't know if you tried it run but I, f I love this fragrance just because it has a light citrus tone and then uh, during the day developed to something more musty so it's definitely in the um, 
a vintage fragrance I would say timeless but it's really a fragrance that is made for James Bond it's part of the English culture uh, British culture since long and it really represents that cliche of a, a British gentleman in a tweed suit or something like that and uh, and I, I love it and it, it's really like a daytime fragrance story if you're expecting like, uh, a, like a lot of warmness definitely not but yeah it's for me uh, one of the best but yeah I love I love your choice. Okay, let's go to the second one. Number two is Carved Wood. Carved Wood is a fragrance by Thamine, and this is a fragrance that I find very elegant in a professional sort of way. If you are, I don't know, if you, you work in, in investment banking or in banking, or you are a lawyer, or you want to, this is a fragrance to smell always very elegant, and but at the same time discreet, at the same time sexy. It's a perfect fragrance for day, for night. You wear it, it doesn't matter. This is a fragrance that is perfectly wearable anytime, anywhere. For me, it's an elegance that is uh, not really um, overwhelming uh, scent. So this is a fragrance that is phenomenal. It's a fragrance that is oud, is cardamom, I mean, you, I, cardamom is my favorite note, so, I mean, my dog is called Momo for Cardamomo, which is cardamom in Spanish, so what can I say? Cardamom is a big thing for me. So this is a fragrance that is wood, it's cardamom, it's very attractive, it's wearable, it's day, night. I mean, a lot of people say that this is a sort of, it's got the same vibe as wood wood. For me, this one is much better than wood wood, but hands down. So this is carved wood. This is one of the best, the most elegant fragrances for uh, professional use. Okay, Carve Dude by Tamin, 100% uh, agree. I did have the occasion actually to sample it uh, really recently because I heard so much about this fragrance and I couldn't agree more with you. Uh, this is definitely a wood that is really great for professional use, like you said, because it's not a wood that's going to be completely intoxicating everyone. It's like an elegant wood and it's difficult uh, to find. You know, usually like some wood can smell uh, very like wild a bit animalic and this is not the case with carved hood I find it also like um, very elegant and it could be like a daytime wood so if you like don't really like uh, wood fragrances uh, you can try this one because it, it really works I completely agree it's really like a elegant definitely elegant scent okay let's carry on number three my number three is Muscovy Muscovy from Bornikov this is a fragrance that is done out of real musk with a uh, carnal flowers with so this is a fragrance that is timeless you wear this and it, it you get stuck in the middle of time you don't know if you're in the 19th century or in the 24th century this is a fragrance that smells great it's got um, a lot of carnal flowers it's very uh, an animalic without being animalic it's a fragrance that you are showing yourself how you are. It's really, it's an, it's an elegance in personality. You're wearing this and your personality really goes along with this. You have to, if you have the personality for this one, really it's elegance in a bottle. This one is just phenomenal. It's uh, the, the class in it, the, uh, the natural ingredients that they are used. And of course the level of, or the quality of this one, it is unbelievable. This is something else, this is masculine. Oh, so I never tried this brand, never, uh, so I'm very curious and it looks like it's a character a bit hidden as well, like the way you explain it, I can feel that it's got a lot of character but it's not like uh, overkilling it, if you see what I mean, so that sounds interesting, really want to try it, uh, but yeah, let's go further. Sometimes we want elegant things. Uh for the colder months or colder days or days that are not that pleasant. Well, I can tell you that Ioko uh, Eye Patchouli is one of them. One of the best patchouli fragrances ever. This is a fragrance that is patchouli with an undertone of creaminess. This is elegance in worst days. I mean, if, you, if the day is raining or it's cold and you are want to send a message of pure elegance and this is a fragrance that you go uh, not only to the office, you're going to a field trip, you're going to no matter where you go out. This is a going out fragrance. This is just a phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal fragrance. This is just incredible how it, well it smells. For if there is any uh, patchouli lover here, then this is a must try. This is one of the best patchoulis that I own. 
Hey, I'm a patchouli lover here. <laughs> I mean, I really enjoy the two type of patchouli usually, like something a bit more vintage, creamy. That sounds more like this is, I think. And uh, you've got the kind of modern patchouli that smell a bit more lighter, greener, a bit like a earthy vetiver. So I'm very curious about it. I have to say, I really like the bottle. It looks like a, a little uh, solution from a, a, an era gone, I would say. I'm really interested about that. I always think that patchouli looks, it's one of the most elegant ingredients and when I find it in a fragrance and it's very focused on the patchouli, I always find it very sophisticated because of the earthy quality uh, and it sounds very creamy and comforting as you said. Uh, but yeah, definitely something I need to go further for. Please tell me if you tried it because uh, I would love to have your opinion as well. We've seen a little bit of everything. Now let's go with a bit of leather. This one is uh, musk wood. This is, of course, it's also very musky, like uh, musk a bit, but it also has like suede sort of vibe. It's spicy, it's got wood, it's, it's incredible. This is a fragrance that, uh, for me, it's got one of the worst first five minutes of any fragrance, because what happens with this one is that you spray yourself with this and you get like a spot of, of fragrance. By the way, do not wear with white clothing because this stains your clothes. Uh, you, you spray yourself and you have everything concentrated in one spot. It's like, and you're like, wow, this is way too much. This is too powerful. But suddenly it opens up and you realize that this fragrance is phenomenal. So this is a fragrance that is just incredible. It's uh, a fragrance that unfolds, that is elegant. If you like leathery, suede, musky, oody sort of vibe, this is a fragrance that is elegance in a bottle with that tone so this is um <laughs> so this is Moscow. this is just wow it's got the wow factor but again wait for it this is no fragrance to um enjoy the very first minute when once you get used to it of course you're going to enjoy it the first minute because you're going to enjoy the ride but just wait for it so yes, I'm, I'm pretty interested in uh, Roja fragrances because uh, to be honest, every time I went to the store, what you describe is exactly what I got. Uh, you know, this spray of fragrance that really is very tough and strong at the beginning and I couldn't really like spend the time. I think it's fragrance, like you said, that deserve to have more time in your hand and I didn't took that time so I can't really tell anything on that but this sounds really nice though and it sounds really to be in my vibe as well like this quite like a uh, musky warm tone with a lot of character and uh, yes yes so I definitely need to try that more okay let's go for the new uh, last one and last but not least flowers this is Merveilleuse Merveilleuse by Henry Jacks this is a fragrance that is it's a spring in a bottle. This is flowers, it's creamy, it's a, it's a bit ambery, it's cold, but this is just spring in a bottle. A lot of times I think that a lot of people ask me, well, are there any flowery fragrances for men? Well, I, I am using this. If you see it in their webpage, in the Henry Jack's webpage, they say this is for women. Do not care about what they say. Try it on your skin. This is a fragrance that you are going to really impress your surroundings because you're going to smell like very spicy, powerful, sexy, attractive, unique flowers. So it's very flowery, it's very vital. It's like spring in a bottle. You're smelling like spring, you wear this and you are elegant as you can be. Wow, I love this one. I, I, I really do, it's, it's just one of my personal favorite. I don't talk about it that much, but it's, it's incredible. So this, is uh, Merveilleuse by Henry Jax, and I do encourage you to try it because, I mean, if you like flowery fragrances, then one, this one is for you. I tried this one, so I'm really happy. Uh, so I really, really like it, and your description is on point. Um, because for me, it's really smell like a spring garden uh, when you just walk into white flowers and things like that. It's definitely something flowery, but in my honest opinion, I think the most elegant scent of men have to have that flowery tone. And it's not like gonna be like flowery, really romantic, like ladylike. Like he said, I think it's really wearable for men, but you need to um, be open-minded to a floral scent though. Uh, but yeah, I really think 
think uh, this is something like really uplifting and also really nice for daytime a bit like touch of uh, sensuality and it's got again a little touch of vintage vibe to me as well which I think is the best if you want to look sophisticated it's not something very extremely trendy and modern that you need to go for at least for me for my honest opinion uh, but yeah completely agree with you and it's really a refined fragrance which I love and the bottle that you have is stunning because you've got a little dropper and this is this is your pure class pure class okay so welcome to this six fragrances uh, have been my choices I hope that uh, you like my selection and it's been a pleasure being here in your channel today thank you very much again for letting me uh, be here with you today and I look very much forward to seeing you soon in my channel in Huele Me Mucho and in maybe in future collaborations so Thank you very much. Thank you all for watching. Talk to you soon. Adios, adios. Adios, adios. We said adios to run. How amazing was it? I really liked your choices and I discovered something. And that's why it's nice to do collaboration. You can always discover something. But we're not done yet. There's two last fragrances I need to add from my elegant scent. Of course, like run, it's really like a poison, this list, because I had so many to talk about. But uh, let me give you some of my choice. And I would say my not Number nine of this list will be um, Sycomore by Chanel. Uh, this is a, a vetiver based scent and vetiver for me is one of the most classiest ingredients because its properties are quite green on the tone and I always think it looks a bit barbershop masculine on a man but without being too much and I think it's one of the most refined ingredients and what is nice with this dirty vet is you just don't get just vetiver it's mixed with a really nice note of tobacco so it smells a bit smoky and delicate so it's just like a veil you're putting on you with a lot of character of course uh, but it, it really feel a bit mysterious with all that smokiness I think it's a scent that is really good to wear uh, for all year long. It's quite uplifting at the beginning but then dry down to something much more earthy. It's not like a very light fragrance which I like and it's got all the classiness of Chanel DNA. And um, yeah, I think for me it's one of the most classiest scents uh, that you can ever find. But again, you need to be a vetiver lover because this is really concentrated in that. It's just focused in those three ingredients really. And then the last scent I wanted to add, and this is a, a scent a bit more warmer that I wanted to get because I talked about a citrus, Ron talked a lot about like musky, leathery, things like that. Well, he did talk a lot, uh, covered the whole subject, I think, very nicely. But I, I'm going to add a ambery scent, and it's a very well-known one, but I think it needs to be added in there. So it's Ambre Nuit uh, by Christian Dior. And what I like with this amber is it's not just giving you a pure amber but it's an amber that is uplifted with grapefruit and I think this is so nice because you get something you expect a number that is going to be very dark, you know, sexy, things like that. And no, 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 you get a very sensual amber moving with not of grapefruit. And you've got that touch of rose. And again, the touch of flowers gives like a very classy and refined uh, amber. And that on men, I would say it looks more sensual, elegant and sophisticated than something very sexy, which I think is very rare. Right, so this end about top. 10 and very frustrating I wanted to tell more but maybe next time uh, in any case I hope you like the collaboration with Juan I hope you're gonna have a look to his channel all uh, the details of his channel is in my description box and I really encourage you to go have a look because he's really uh, a very knowledgeable man and uh, I mean You've seen me watching the video and I actually had a lot of fun. I think he was really entertaining and, and informative. So that's perfect and I discovered things. So I hope you did discover things as well. And tell me what do you think about the scent that uh, Juan gave because I'm really interested in the, the ones that I didn't try. Uh, especially the Yoko one, the Roger I didn't really try. I, I can't really remember it. But yeah, like things like that, please tell me how it goes. Uh, and uh, and yes, uh, thank you for watching the video and I will see you very soon, hopefully by now.